So last night, as I was getting ready to go to bed, I get a text from my brother. He said, like, whoa, paranormal activity at my house. The kitchen light just turned on all by itself. And then about 30 seconds later, my light in my motel room turns off all by itself. I am in the motel room in Missoula, Montana. And I've been writing all day. Well, not all day. A lot of today was spent uh, in a waiting room waiting for my new tires. You guys need to get me those tires. It has to be like big, like checkered flag or some, some sort of symbol that says, oh, just go get these tires, problem solved. This is more of a street tire. You guys don't care about that. So last night, as I was getting ready to go to bed, I get a text from my brother. He said, like, whoa, paranormal activity at my house. The kitchen light just turned on all by itself. And he has paranormal activity at his house, so that wasn't too extreme, but he was just kind of like, oh, I'll appreciate that. So he sent me a message and said, hope you're having fun, that kind of thing. And then about 30 seconds later, my light in my motel room turns off all by itself. The electricity was still going to the lamp, but the light had turned off. And I had been using that for a lot of the day, like off and on. So I know that it wasn't on a timer. It didn't like overheat with his light doing something weird. And then my light doing something weird. I was kind of freaked out. I was like, okay, is this like, did our mom or dad, did something happen to them and they're like coming and saying hello through turning off and turning on our lights? Cause that would be the, those would be the people that are connected with both my brother and I. So that freaked me out. So I called mom, she's fine. Called dad, he's fine, but weird, right? So I'm tired, I go to bed, I'm hearing knocking, I'm being touched. I'm hearing like voices inside the room, uh, two men talking inside my room. And you know, you're thinking, well, why didn't you record some of this? Well, I probably should have, but you know what? This stuff happens so often. It's so often happening to me. I like this little corridor here. Yeah, this stuff happens so often that I can't be recording it all the time because I would be recording all the time. On my ride up here, I, I talk to my guides and I ask, like, please make sure that no animals run out in front of my bike. Protect everybody, protect the animals from me, protect me from any, any sort of dangers. And they say, yeah, we got your back or something like that. And I haven't, I haven't had them tell me that they're watching out for me and they're protecting me and have gotten hurt. I've also had them go, you need to pull over or slow down. Like I've been bombing down this fantastic road uh, with another motorcycle. And then all of a sudden it's like, Brett, you should stop, stop for a minute. I'm like, okay, what? Stop for a minute. So I, I pull over. Dude goes by on his bike, same speed, doing the same thing I was doing. I don't think anything of it. I take off and right around that next curve is a cop with his lights on who pulled this guy over instead of me. And I've got there. The, the spirits are often around me. Uh, something I noticed was I was eating chicken. <laughs> I got some chicken next door. I was wolfing that down and I was hearing somebody asking like, I had somebody commenting on my, my disgusting eating because <laughs> I, was, I, was I was eating fast. Um, also, like, I have difficulty with asking the right questions because oh, I should check and make sure these are recording still. Is this one recording? Oh, that's no longer recording. When I'm tuning in to a spirit, 
I'm using my right brain basically and the left brain is all analytical and that would be where I come up with my questions to ask spirits. So when I'm tuning in, it's difficult for me to ask really good questions. I know like you guys are like, wait, if you're talking to gnomes, can you please ask them these relevant, super important questions? Well, I've talked to all sorts of beings before, and so it's no longer dawning on me to ask some of the questions that you might have. If you send me questions, or if you put questions in the comments, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be checking that out. But a lot of times it takes all of my focus to be listening and paying attention to what they're, what they're telling me, trying to grasp that information. So asking the questions, it's, it's, it's almost like I need an outside source to feed those questions to me because I'm already maxed out trying to, uh, just trying to tune in and relay that information. And then also recording and paying attention to my, my whereabouts and all that. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to do better with asking questions, asking relevant questions. I think that doing it like a conversation instead of an interview is the way to do it. I don't know. I, I don't need the evidence. The evidence, like I love getting validation and I love helping spirit and telling their story, but I don't need evidence. I mean, I've got folks talking to me all the time. They show up on audio all the time. Um, is this place haunted? I can't tell. I feel like there are folks just sitting around waiting, waiting for me. So I don't know if they came with me or if they are actually guides for me, but it's like seeing the, um, seeing, I don't know if this is an actual character or whatever, but seeing like the receptionist in Beetlejuice, like filing her nails. You don't have an appointment, do you? Well, we didn't know how to make one. Like sitting, oh, is she cut in half? That might be what I'm, what I'm, what I'm picturing. That, that character, she's not cut in half, but that idea of a character. And I don't think, I don't think that's a pleasing character for whoever it is. She's hot in that Beetlejuice kind of. All right, I need to stop. I need to charge all of this stuff. And I like using all these cameras. It gives me more possibilities of catching something if there were to be movement in the room or something happened, I've got cameras on it. And I think it's also kind of ridiculous. And I like that, so, hey, did this one stop? No, it's still going. All right, that's it, that's it. Later. Oh, this one shut off, or did it, it did.